Okay, down here is, it looks like the base of a cup, but look on the inside. Where's best to go here? It looks like, is it an island with ferns growing? But underneath looks like clouds. I really like that. And I think I'd be able to cut that out. So yeah, I'm keeping that. I've got my first find down here, which is weird because this was my first find last time. You can see it there. It's a cod marble, but it's only a little bit that's sticking out. Ah, it's whole. Here we go. Wonder if we'll have another cod marble day today. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we're back on the riverbank today. And it is a lovely day between horrible days. Yeah, for so a change. So we grabbed our opportunity once again to come down here and we hope to find some juicy things. We are, so it's a nice day. Let's hope we get some nice finds as well. Let's do it. find down there well actually I've got a little tiny slight pencil but it's a marble a little marble oh and that's weird is that one? Oh well there we go two marbles actually it's a marbly day obviously first finds are all marbles a um, German marble, a swirly German marble would be really nice though, wouldn't it? Oh look, spot something here. You see it? I think it's a bit obvious. It's chain, oh! Is there anything on it? No. It's a nice chain though. Might be able to reuse that actually. We do like finding train. Hmm, is that a nail? Look. Funky copper nail. Take that. Oh, we're taking lead as well. And there's another cod marble. It must be a marble day today. This one's really quite worn. It's been knocking around for quite a while. And down here, someone has left a little collection of pottery and I've got my eye on this one. Look, it's a little bird. So yeah, I want to keep that too. What else? That's unusual. I think I've found this pattern before because it reminded me of um, like old camera film. <laughs> Doesn't that look like film? Before film. So yeah, some quite nice pieces there. But I like that one best, the bird. I think you all know what this is. I don't even have to say it, do I? I can hear you all saying what this is. So I'm not going to say. Because it's a... Uh... Yep, you guessed it. Round a bit of brass, and I think I know what it's off after looking at it. It's got a hole there, look, and this bit twists to tighten in whatever is held in there. And there's like a hinge one half a hinge on that side. I think that is actually part of a pair of um, protractors. And that's where the pencil would have been held. Isn't that random? 
Victorian protractors. Down here, what's this? Looks like a coin. And it is a coin. It looks like a halfpenny of some sort by the size. It's a bit crusty and we'll have to do some cleaning. Down here is a little bottle. Look at that. It's a little perfume bottle. I don't think it has any text on it, but I think that's cute. I'm going to have a lot of trouble cleaning it though. Because look at the, uh, the hole in the top. <laughs> so it might not come out very clean. But we'll have a go. It's also full of river water which would take a long time to, to empty. sorts of things in here but it's getting through there there's a bit of a challenge so I'm gonna put you down here so you can watch me you can watch me struggling oh, goodness gracious me there's something sticking out here that I want to try and get <laughs> I'm stuck. Not this thing. Not that thing is. Oh, it's like the bottom of a teacup, but it's like perfectly broken. Oh, I've lost it now. That thing over there. we snap this? No! It's completely blocking me. <laughs> Stop! Oh my God. A stick. Oh, I can't get it. Unless I crawl. Crawl. Ow, rambles. Ow. Okay. Oh, it's broken. It's just a tile. I thought it was going to be something else. Well, I knew it was going to be a tile. I thought it was going to be a better tile than that. But alas, it isn't. And I've struggled for nothing. You know, sometimes the struggle pays off. Sometimes it doesn't. This is just one of those times. Let's go. There's a red thing down here and I've got a funny feeling that it is a tiddlywink, plastic tiddlywink, probably from the 1950s, which most of this rubbish is from. But as we walk along, the rubbish gets older, so yeah, I'd say 1950s probably. Here is a pipe bowl. I think it's blank, but it's in good condition for making things with. I think that's a bit of a pencil sharpener, look. It's a recognisable little thing. It's a bit knackered though, look. 
we'll leave it here. I find lots of like lead. But where's the gold? <laughs> oh, it's like off a little light bulb look. Little light socket. Oh, and there's a massive horseshoe there. Look at the size of that. Wow. Look. As big as my hand. Must have been a big working horse that. What's that? Look, thing. Oh, it's nothing. It's like out of a bottle cap kind of thing. Mm, that's a nothing as well. Guess we'll just have to keep searching for my gold. I don't know why I've got gold on the brain today. What is this? Melted glass or a bead? I think it was a bead at some point that is no longer a bead. It is a deceased bead. I think this is an old lady's, not an old lady's, a lady's wristwatch <laughs> that is very old. Um, it's quite corroded, you can see where the strappy or chain had been on either side. <clears throat> Don't know whether it'll clean up very well, but I'll have a go. Oh, look at that. More cutlery. It's a spoon. For some reason. I don't know why. It's always a spoon. We don't find forks as much as we find spoons for some reason. I think there's some marks on it. Not sure if they say anything. Uh, a S E, I think it's stamped. I'm not sure what that means. There's a few other random bits of metal down here. I can see like a safety pin kind of thing. What's that? A block of metal. I don't know. It's a very large piece of sponge out there. Let me just give it a wipe. There, look. It's got like little stars on it. Yeah, it's like got like little wheels, like little cogs with stars in the middle of them. I think I'll take that bit. This looks like a bottle stop, and it is. Daddies. Okay, no prizes for guessing what this is. It's an onion and it's, it's in perfect condition. <laughs> I could actually take this home and um, use it. It's a perfectly good onion. Well, that's a strange mudlarking find. Not an onion bottle, an actual onion. <laughs> nice. I think that's one of those little clay beads that we now know were like little Christmas decorations. They were like painted different colours. today although I was convinced it was a berry because look at the color of it and we're coming into berry season now but no let's get it in the sun it's a gorgeous red bead I think it's probably just glass 
But look how pretty. Love it. So as I was slithering my way down this really steep bank, I'm sure I spotted something down behind this. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, that's gone now. Uh, rolling away. Look at this. Is it whole? Oh, what a shame. It's broken. Great big mother of pearl button. That would have been lovely. Oh, never mind. Maybe I'll find another one. Is this a whole teapot? No. The handle's missing and so is half of the spout. That could be a plant pot though, couldn't it? Oh, what's this? It's broken. That could be a plant pot. It's really slimy, but it's got these leaf patterns on it. I could put a plant pot in there. I don't know if I can be bothered to carry it because we've got quite a long way to carry these things on this part of the foreshore. I don't know. I'll see what Alex says. Look at this. I think I know what that is. Can you see that bit of brassy thing? It's a badge. Look. What does that even say? It's that way around. It's really bent. Oh, I have to wait until we get home and then work out where that's from. It's like a lapel or maybe like shoulder badge or something. Cool. Military, I think. I just stood on something down here and it like squirted out. I think it was like a piece of seaweed it was like full of water and it just squirted out there. And it took my eyes to this. Look, does that look like a really cool stopper to you? Oh my, it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I wanted to find one of these for ages. I think that's like the air ambulance going over. Oh, excuse me. But isn't that wonderful? It's like, I'm not sure what that is. Is it like three feathers or something? Some sort of really funky perfume bottle stopper anyway. Wow, I really like that. We don't have very many green cut glass stoppers like that. That's one for the collection, definitely. I love it. Oh, and I found this cog it's a nice big chunky brass cog and we love a nice cog <laughs> what else I can find down here I haven't been down here for a little while in the summer it has this kind of like green sludge all over it a bit of brass down there I don't think it's anything oh Maybe we should have a look on the sludge, just in case. Actually, I've just noticed it has got a big crack going all the way down to the bottom. So it probably wouldn't last very long. So I think I'll just leave it. And there is another button. It's mother of pearl, not as... I'm losing my hat. Not as big as the other one, but there you are. A whole, a whole one. Look at this bottle. It has split perfectly, almost, down the centre. I think that's the other side of it, look. They don't often break like that, look. How odd. I think I've spied another bead, look. Oh, blue thing, is it broken? No, it's not. Oh! It's a check bead, again, like bicoloured. That's pretty, it's a really vibrant blue as well. Here's an eyebrow, a doll's eyebrow. 
Difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. Oh, there's the stopper. It's broken. And some pan lids. Is this a dish or the bottom of something? The bottom of something. <laughs> It'd make a dish though, wouldn't it? If you ground that bit away, it would actually make it into a into a dish. And it's got a maker's mark on the bottom. Hmm. Look, it looks like a man throwing a discus. Which is a bit strange. Oh, I might take that. Probably turning out to be more interesting than I thought. Wait a minute, I think I've spotted another one there, look. I have. I think it's got a bit of a chip in it. It's kind of like an internal crack. Probably breaking cleaning, but that's a beautiful bastard bead. So I haven't come away empty handed when it comes to bees today, thankfully. Oh, in this spot I'm finding all sorts of things, bits and bobs. What's that? Is it just random blob? Or is it like a bit of jewellery? I'll take it just in case. The sea is getting closer. Look, this is me. And that's the sea. Mum's way over there, so I'm gonna have to get a move on. I think that is potentially a bead. It might be broken though, it looks pink. Oh, I think it's like a little drop. Some sort of little glass drop off something. It's a bit broken though, unfortunately. I think I found a bead. It is, it's a little, it's a little bracelet bead, bright yellow. And it's a button, little glass button. We're hurrying now because the tide is rushing in. Look at that. You can look. See how fast it's moving towards Alex. So yeah, we better get going. Look how fast this tide's coming in. It comes in quickly and you don't realise until you turn around and it's there. This is all just the sea. <laughs> oh look, we're playing that game again. Is it a bead or is it a berry? I really can't tell. Oh, it's a, it's a berry. The sea has come back to claim the treasures for herself once again. It's so interesting watching it come in. It's a bead. Oh, look at that. It's got like gold on it. A golden luster. Can you see that? Oh, 
That's nice. I've just seen something over there. Can you see it? It's toy related. There we go. <laughs> it's quite a knackered lead soldier on a horse. And he's not got his head. And the horse hasn't got its head either. The river does not like preserving heads. I think this is another little glass button. We must have lots of these by now. Enough to use on some clothes or knitting that I'm going to do on top of all the other things I'm going to do. <laughs> Teapot lid. Oh, actually it's really nice. That will make a great lid for one of my jars. And it's another button. I actually love these ones with the big wide holes in them. I think it's something to do with those, jewellery wise. There's some jars here, still got the label on. Can we read it? It's jam, it says jam there. Whoops, not showing you. Is that Tesco? A really old Tesco jam jar. Someone's been digging here. Hmm. So my battery went dead, but I found a few things here. So I got like a bit of a, I think it's a hairpin. It was the end of a hairpin, but it's broken. Might be able to use it though. Um, there's a little hand I thought would be cute to like cut out for a necklace. One of those beads and this, which was upside down like that in the ground. You can see where it was stuck in, just the corner was sticking out. And I pulled it out and it was the weirdest lid. Look at it, it's all like, bubbly and you can see there that the little handle it seems is like broken off but it looks really fresh so I was digging around in the ground and I found this I found the end which fits on there perfectly so I can glue that back I think someone must have like trod on it while it was upside down in the ground and it's broken but anyway that fits on there and it's like gilded it's like a bunch of grapes, but yeah, that is the weirdest lid. I wonder what the rest of the little jar looked like. Some bottles. HP sauce, that'd be Worcestershire sauce. There's a flask bottle here. Probably a whiskey flask. Some more bottles up here. Nothing exciting, I'm afraid. Oh, a toothbrush. <laughs> I might take that, I'm not sure. I think it's plastic though. Hmm. There's a little pot here. Cracked. The remains of a knife. Probably someone's bread knife. Button down here, another button. I found so many buttons today. The glass button. All right, so we found some lovely elderberries. Look at those. Amazing. Look at them, so juicy. They and we're are. going to make elderberry cordial. People and us usually make elderflower cordial, but we've never tried elderberry before. That's amazing. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at it. Incredible. It's the biggest elder bush I've ever seen. So, we're going to take some of these and try a hand at elderberry cordial.
washed up once again. And they are looking very shiny and very beautiful in the sunshine, aren't they? They are. We found <laughs> some really interesting things. As per usual, um, this is probably the most, the strangest lid that yeah. we've ever found. Isn't it weird? I think it's meant to be grapes, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I'd love to know what the rest of it looked like. If anyone recognises it or can tell us what the rest of it would have looked like, that would be really cool because it's a funky lid. And the pottery is particularly nice. I mean, I found this lovely teapot lid, which will go great on a marmalade jar. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And this beautiful piece of spongeware bowl. That was almost green before we cleaned it. I know. Like the whole thing was covered. And this lovely shirt here with a bird on it. A bird shirt. Bird shirt. And I love this base. It's got sort of a, an island with willow trees and... Yeah. Clouds or something? I don't know. Well, they're just little rocks. Rocks. In the water. Rocks, all oh, right. So I thought I might be able to do something on that. Definitely. So. I found this little hand as well, though. Yeah. I thought that would make a funky pendant. You found so many buttons. I know. It was a button day you for me. You found loads. Um, and, of course, we've got another spoon. We've been on a bit of a roll with spoons recently for yeah. some reason. And the clay beads on the spoon are lovely. Yeah, they've got this lovely earthy feel about them. Yeah, we've got a whole string of them. We'll have to show you them when we do our collections video. Yeah. And we've got some toy related items. So we've got marbles, a lead toy. Oh, and lovely little selection of beads look, which yeah, also look really nice in the sunshine. Lovely. But our best finds are here at the front. So we've got this badge that I found. Um, and I managed to read it and it says Gordon, but I have no idea what that meant until mum looked at it. And it's a badge from the Gordon Highlanders. So it's a military badge, probably worn on the shoulder. Yeah, how weird's that? We can't straighten it out because we think the metal is too degraded yeah. and it will probably just snap. So. We don't want to risk it, it's, very, yeah. it's, it's quite um, brittle. Yeah. But it's weird the way it's been bent. It's almost like someone's deliberately crushed it. Yeah, thrown it, away. thrown it away. It's Maybe um, because a lot of these badges were made into sweetheart brooches given to girlfriends. Maybe they fell out and she bent it up in anger and chucked it in the bin. Or maybe it just held some, you know, quite traumatic memories for someone and yeah, they just and destroyed it, it and threw it away. Yeah. So, yeah, who knows what the story behind so that is. So I think is. that um, regiment lasted from the... 19th century right through to the 1980s. So this is more likely to be like a 1900s, like early 1900s. Turn right? of the 19th yeah. and 20th century, yeah. Um, oh, this chain that I found actually came really nicely. Oh, actually, all the metal did, as yeah. usual. And so did this, like, the bit of, like, the protractors. It actually has the word patent written on it there. Fantastic for making things with, because yeah. I love this, the corroded look of these things. And this little end of some wire it that does, would make a lovely like a pendant it does that? look a bit like a noose though it does yeah and this beautiful colored glass we can make yes. beads with oh absolutely yeah so yeah we found some great things yeah, anyway our bestest best find is this here which is probably i'll hold up to the sun oh that's amazing i absolutely love this find i know it's um it's probably one of our most beautiful bottle stop and it's there's a kind of stopper this style is something we've wanted to find for a long yeah. time. Yeah, it's really beautiful. So it's a perfume stopper and these are... The Prince of Wales feathers. So yeah, they're three ostrich feathers. Um, yeah, they're the Prince of Wales feathers. So it's a really beautiful stopper. It is, and it's amazing that Alex found it amongst all that green slime. Oh yeah. Which was the same colour. Yeah, because it was up like that and I, yeah. I could recognise what it was, but... And it's so beautiful and shiny and I love it. it looks like the day it was lost it's absolutely wonderful and it'll go in our stopper collection which yeah. we'll also show sooner or later in our collections yes video. we've got to do a collections we video we do i know a lot of you said that you wanted to see it but anyway yeah that's everything we found um and it was some really interesting things i think yeah we had a fantastic time we hope you did too what a lovely day down here on the foreshore and we've ha not had sun like this for ages. The weather in the UK has been absolutely horrible. Depressing. This summer we've just had like non-stop rain so it was really nice to get out today in the actual sunshine. <laughs> it's a wonder we're not all like vitamin D deficient <laughs> over <Probably> here. <laughs> anyway, it has actually been really good. We found some interesting little finds. I really like that stopper. 
yeah. that we found. Oh, that's fantastic. Isn't that I gorgeous? That. And that badge, which we don't know what it says yet, but no. we probably found out. You probably know by now anyway. Yeah. But anyway, on that note, we're going to say a great big thank you and goodbye. So a great big thank you to everyone who has left a comment, liked this video, subscribed to our YouTube channel, and an extra special thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Once again, thank you so much for helping to keep us going every month. We really, really appreciate it. We really do. We really, really do. And Any, anything that you've um, helped us with, yeah. like you Amazon wishlist. Amazon wishlist. Yeah. People have been buying us some things for this channel and our new channel. Yeah. Um, the Lost Tower Diaries, if you haven't already seen it. We've yeah. got um, a new, video was out yesterday, wasn't a it? A new video up, yes. Yeah. So go over there and check out what we do at home <laughs> when we're not doing this. <laughs> and um, on that note, we'll see you again next, next week. week. Bye. Bye.